And I felt that beating in my heart that we all talk about, those that have heard conversion stories know. And I, my heart started pounding in my chest and I realized that this church was true. I knew very, very little about the Mormon Church or the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I was introduced, it, introduced to it by my wife's mother as she was a member of the church. And she was teaching my wife about the church and I subsequently listened in a little bit at a time. Now my wife was converted before I was and this is in the time of Spencer W. Kimball in 1975 and I wasn't really interested in joining the church. I already had a religion that, that I felt comfortable with but I wasn't practicing it. So I listened to, I listened in a couple of times with missionaries and strangely enough, the third time, there were lady missionaries. And we were in Yuma, Arizona, and they came out of the San Diego mission. And this time, strangely enough, I listened. And I felt that beating in my heart that we all talk about, those that have heard conversion stories know. And I my heart started pounding in my chest and I realized that this church was true and I prayed about it and if subsequently I was baptized now my wife and I and our two boys traveled around the western states we went to Salt Lake City we found some very good friends there and eventually after we'd moved to Wyoming and then in North Dakota we had some very good home teachers. In fact, our home teacher, I will still remember his name to this day, was Rockney White. And he kept us interested in going to the temple. And for the time that we spent there, which was about a year, he told us when we left, because I had a job opportunity in Grand Junction, Colorado, and I took this opportunity and he said, keep doing what you're doing and you will go to the temple. If it wasn't for him, I would never have been able to go to the temple and be sealed to my family for all time and eternity. I love this church, I love it with all my heart, and I don't know how I would be today if it hadn't come into my life. If my wife had not sat down and listened to her mother, we would probably still be continuing on the life that we had. But this life that I live now, to me, is perfect. <laughs>